Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Car Question. We are sitting in the Subaru Outback, and this video is going to be about 10 points that we like. So let's start with number 10, the silence inside when we roll the car. This is impressive. You can be on the highway. You don't hear much road noise. You can be in the city. You don't hear a lot of cars around you, and you can be in the muddy trail, and you're not going to hear a lot of sound inside. You've got also a great sound system. Them, just simply raise the volume and you're going to have the peace of mind when you're going to be rolling. Number nine, interior space. And this is an amazing one. You can see I'm up front. I've got enough clearance for my head and I'm really tall. I've got plenty of room for my legs, my hips. And when you look in the back, three adults can sit there without any problem. And when it comes to the trunk, huge space. You can put all the luggage of a big family there. And if it's not enough, well, you've got the roof rail where they can hold heavy weight on those. So maximum luggage for you and your family on the trip. And yes, it can tow. Number eight. Well, if you don't like the four cylinder, guess what? You've got an alternative. You can go with the H6, which is the one that I recommend to you. More powerful, easy acceleration, Nice sound there between the two engines. And when it's going to come to passing maneuver, you will get the power. And you can also get out of those muddy holes with enough power. Number seven, an advanced multimedia system. Finally, some upgrade there. Subaru did a great job with that system. You've got a nice definition. Everything is easily accessible, fast tile possibility. And yes, you've got some great connectivity with that screen. A nice sound system, nice application, nice graphic. What do you want more? Number six, one of the rare wagon available in North America. There's not a lot of competition out there and the Subaru Outback really stands out of the crowd. Yes, you've got the ODL road that you can go for, which is kind of similar, but it's worth a lot more money. And you've got the Golf Sport Wagon, which was one of the praise car last year, completely new, which is some ferocious competition, but hey, with Subaru, you can go everywhere. Number five, more ground clearance than a Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. Yes, it can seem impressive, but you've got more clearance when it's going to come to go over obstacle, over some rock, when it's going to be time to cross a ditch, Yep, you will be able to do it. Okay, I'm not talking about attack angle or departure angle, but still, you can go over rock easily on the beaten old path. Number four, smooth suspension. It's even more refined than the previous generation. It's not going to be the best when it's going to come to road and lane, but it can be really smooth over any surface. On the highway, no problem there. In the city, in the potholes, even on some harsh terrain. At full speed, I went uphill in the sand pit and you could feel the car moving around. It was hard on the suspension, but still inside way more comfortable than some rugged trucks out there. Number three, symmetrical all-wheel drive. I think the reputation here is done. Subaru is one of the top all-wheel drive system that you can find when it's going to come to our famous diagonal test, when it's going to come to go in the snow, even on some wet terrain, summer, winter, name it. It's always cool to get this all-wheel drive system. Number two, X mode. Well, this is the button that you're going to press when you want to go further in those unexplored region. It's going to get the traction to the wheels that needs it and it's going to break the other one. It's going to maximize attraction everywhere so you can get out of those rocky, muddy, sandy situation out there and even out of the biggest snow banks in Quebec City. Last and finally, number one. This car is incredible off-road. It doesn't seem like much, but we had some fun with this one. We went far. The diagonal test, boom, a snap like that. With or without X mode, it will get over it. And when it comes to the snowy situation, even with some summer tire, I was kind of impressed to see the car just roll around, go up the hill easily like that. So there you go. This was 10 things that we like about the Subaru Outback. Now it's your time. Do you think that we forgot something? Feel free to comment in the section down there below. Do a thumbs up because you like that video and subscribe to Car Question. So the next video is going to be about 10 things that we dislike. 
about the Outback. See you soon. Take care.